Hello everyone, welcome to Philips Take On DDS CAD. In DDS CAD, you can use automatic legends for all disciplines, electrical, sanitary heating and ventilation. But in some specific cases, you'd like to create your own legends. In this video, I will show you the steps to do so. Enjoy! If you'd like to create an openings legend like this, you can use any discipline in the architecture uh, working mode. But uh, in this case, I will create a pipe legend and we can make use of the tails levels, which starts from 100 to 498 of specific disciplines. In this case, I'm using the 101. Okay. So opening this, the first thing I will do is to create a rectangle and I will specify the width, width and length. And of course, you can have the size you want. This is just, I will just use as the frame for my legend. And I will insert this insertion of this model. So it will also become the insertion of this in the title field. Next, I will press and hold the, the control key over this bottom line so I can use some help lines. I will use this option parallel help lines, three dots. I specified the length of this function and specified the offset between the lines as 0.5. I will do the same pressing the control key over the left line and I will use the parallel help line. With this function, I can insert like an offset and specify the side so I can create a margin. Next, I will use a polar line so I can specify the header. For the header or the title, I will use a free text or text function and I will type pipes here. Now we come back to the standard tools function so I can activate the pipe function. And for this legend, I will create or insert three pipes, cold water, hot water and circulation. So the first here will be the cold water. So cold water. 50 I will use as size for diameter nominal and now I will use the arrow key to the right so I can specify the length of this pipe 2 meters ok enter next pipe line below medium hot water then go to the right enter enter and at last the circulation arrow key to the right, enter, enter. Okay, now what I will do, I will select this pipe so I can activate the part text. With this part text pipe type, I have activated only the medium. Okay, so with the medium parameter, I have the abbreviation of the medium text. So I can insert like here, here, and here, if you'd like to have a precise alignment, you can just select the first one, copy part text properties, and all of them will have the same alignment. Okay, that's done. Let's delete the help lines and we can go to the plot layout. To insert this legend in the plot layout, we use the function model part model section. So you find here the, the, the pipe legend, you click on the model, and click insert. Let's make the same to insert the opening. So I will select here opening element model and insert on the top of this one. Another advantage to use this type of legends is that we can edit only the, the model where we created the legend. And if we have multiple plot layouts, all of them will be directly updated. In this case, if I come to the opening element or opening legend and I remove this symbol and resize the, the frame, when I come back to the plot layout, it's also activated. Would you like to see more videos like this? So subscribe to our channel and hit the bell and don't lose the next videos. And what would you like to see next? Put it on a comment below and maybe I address the subject next. Cheers.